I was working on a project and I discovered that some people might be having problem like this. This is a muster point where people gather for emergency sake. And let's say you want to have something like this on your 3D. And at the end of the day, you end up having something like this. Okay. Now I'm going to show you guys how to correct this or how to go about it. First thing first, you have to go to surface right here. Maybe it should be here from your from your um, Archicad layout. If it is not there, you just have to activate this. Okay, 3D visualization. This is it. And you turn it on again to come back. Sometimes you might have it here, or you might have it floating here. So you just have to shift it at every position you want. That's it. So you go back, go to this surface, and click this. Now you can select any any paint you want. Just select one of it and create a copy of it by clicking new okay and then you say duplicate you can give it a name or you might just leave it like that for this i'm just going to leave it like that instead of giving it a name so let's say okay the next thing you do is your, you go to you go down to your texture right there and you say browse now mind you you must have downloaded an image so you just say add okay and then you have your image have this right there I have used this already, so I'm going to try to use this. So I'll just click this and say, okay. As you can see, the image, the image is here right now. So I'll just say, okay. And I'll say original proportion. Click original proportion. Let's just say, okay, for now. Okay. So this right here, I'm going to apply that material we just, we just imported on, on this slab. I'll go down here, go to the setting, go here, and go here, and click that. This is what we just imported as the material. And we say, okay. As you can see, this is what we have. Okay? Now, it's not proper. What you do is, you go back here. Okay? As you can see, this is out here. And we change this. Make sure this is 1,000 by 1,000. And this is fine. Then you say, okay. As you can see, we have it at 1,000 by 1,000. It simply means that this is supposed to be at least, this square is supposed to be 1,000 like this. Okay? It's supposed to be 1,000. But what if we want it bigger than 1,000? Now, that's the issue. All you need to do is increase it just the way you want it. Okay? You can see it's around 1,000. So... We want it to be something at this size and at this size. So we are going to check from here to here. It's 2000. So we are still going to do the same thing here. Let's see from here to here. This is uh, 1509. And I'm just going to increase it by uh, 41, I think. Sorry. Um, 401 to make it 2000 by 2000. Oh, it's so many 90. Okay, so this is 2,000 by 2,000. Okay, so we are going to go back to our 3D to see what we have. This is 2,000 by 2,000. So we are going to go back to this surface here. Okay, and change this to 2,000 by 2,000. Okay, then we say okay. Now, this is correct. But the issue is that you can see that this... The alignment is not correct, which we are going to correct right now. What you do next is you hold it, you select this object right here, and you go to document, creative imaging, and then you go to align texture. Okay. When you go to align texture, you choose this set origin. So you just choose your origin, maybe this corner, any corner, just click this. Now it will set the origin and that's fine. If you, it, you, you don't want this assemble point to be at this position, just go back to this surface, okay, and change the angle here. Let's change it to 45, this rotation, okay? And this is, this is, the assemble is at this point. Let's change it again to 90. Okay, now you have it. So this is how to go about correcting something like this if you have an issue 
like this this is how to go about correcting it and doing it the proper way let's try this one for instance okay i'm going to create a box here now okay so i'm going to apply the other one this is this one i've imported it before i think i use this so you can see we have this now this image right here i'm going to check the image the measurement of the image that is what i'm going to use for this slab right here okay so we are going to go to surface and this image right here you can see the image is 1006 by 2000 so it simply means that this one right here i'll make it 1006 okay i'll just add two to it to make it 1006 1006 and from here to here should be 2000 so i'm just going to remove that 15 there so now this is correct now the next thing now is to align the origin which haven't selected this you go back to your document creative imaging and then align texture and then you select this and pick a point okay there you go so that's how to go about this Thank you for watching. If you're new here, kindly subscribe so you don't miss videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.